Jason Yu, and this is a whiskey sour. The whiskey sour is a classic cocktail. It's bright, it's refreshing. It's the one drink that will make anybody that says, I don't like whiskey, into, hey, this isn't bad. All right, so what first we're gonna start is with our egg white. It creates a froth and it incorporates all the flavors in the cocktail. And this is fresh squeezed lemon juice. We're gonna go with three quarters of an ounce. So simple syrup is equal parts water and sugar. Three quarter ounce on this guy. In this whiskey sour, we're gonna use a little bourbon. We're gonna do two ounces of this. You have to actually shake this drink twice. You add your ice first, and you emulsify the egg whites. Strain this into our tin. The second shake, and you shake it without the ice, and what that does, that produces more of a foam for your cocktail. The glass is nicely chilled. So the last step, I'm gonna use a little mesh strainer, and this is completely optional, just to filter out the little fine uh, ice chips so it doesn't disrupt the texture of my egg white. And it's gonna settle, and you're gonna see a separation. Uh, what you always wanna do is you garnish with a lemon zest, and it's gonna help just keep it really nice and fresh. One of the last touches that I like to do is I like to run a little stripe of bitters on it, and that is your whiskey sour. Hi, I'm Nicole, and today we're making a Remember the Maine. It's a little-known classic cocktail, rye-based. In 1898, the USS Maine sank in the Havana Harbor, and Charles Baker was there in 1933 when the Sergeant's Revolt was happening. All these missiles and explosions reminded him of the sinking of the USS Maine, so he created this cocktail. And now we're gonna make it. Three quarters sweet vermouth. One third cherry herring. And two ounces of rye. Grab a coupe, and we're gonna do an absinthe rinse. Absinthe rinse is anywhere from a half bar spoon to a full bar spoon of absinthe and gives a really nice herbal and aromatic quality to the cocktail. Add some ice. Stir for 10 to 20 seconds. And pour. And garnish with a Luxardo cherry. There it is. Remember the main. And this is the Brown Derby. Brown Derby is a classic cocktail that was actually invented in Los Angeles around the 1930s in the Brown Derby restaurant. Start with some fresh grapefruit juice, you do one ounce. You use a half ounce of honey. And two ounces of your favorite bourbon. And we're gonna shake. this up in our coupe. And garnish with a simple grapefruit peel. Get a little zest on the top. It's a brown derby. This is the Boulevardier. The difference between the Boulevardier and Negroni is that there's whiskey instead of gin. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it. The Boulevardier is a spirit for drink, so we're gonna be stirring this one. We're gonna do three quarter ounces of Campari. We're gonna do three quarter ounces of sweet vermouth. And this is a French sweet vermouth, so it's a little more delicate. In this case, it's just a little bit softer. We're gonna do uh, one and a half ounces of some whiskey. Add some ice to this. Now we stir for about 10 seconds. You don't wanna over dilute it since it's gonna be sitting on, on a big ice cube. And strain. Orange peel is always a little bit of oil. Um, when you express that oil, it, it produces an aromatic that complements the Campari and the sweet vermouth. And that is the Boulevardier. And this is the Manhattan. Manhattan is a, a timeless classic. Because it's so versatile, it can be consumed almost any time of the day. It's a great complement to a meal or with just good company. First step you do is you just chill the glass. 
So this glass is called a coupe. The story goes that it is designed after Marie Antoinette's left breast. A little fun fact about that one. You want to dash a couple of dashes of aromatic bitters. You're going to use about one ounce of sweet vermouth. What the sweet vermouth does is it adds more complexity to your cocktail. If your vermouth is no good, your Manhattan's no good. That's the bottom line. You can do two ounces of whiskey. I'm using a rye whiskey today. A little bit of spice, a little bit of pepper comes through really nicely. Stir and chill this cocktail. Next thing we do is get rid of the ice in our chilled glass. I'm gonna strain our drink. The most common garnish is a brandied cherry or a Luxardo cherry. I don't like my drinks too sweet, so I'm just gonna go with the orange zest today. And this is a Manhattan.